Disney World is the country's top honeymoon destination, and while it's usually a magical place to celebrate, we've got a few bizarre and fun Disney honeymoon stories to share with you today and what you can learn about them for your Disney honeymoon. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. Now we asked our followers on Twitter and Facebook for their unique, strange, or just downright bizarre Disney honeymoon stories because there's always tips and advice to be had, especially when we're learning things the hard way. So we're going to talk about a few of these that they sent in. Now we had so many people send in their amazing honeymoon stories. So thank you so much to everybody who sent theirs in. I'm super excited to share some of these with you. First tip we learned, leave time for spontaneity. So Jamie Saunders Varval said, we were married and honeymooned in Disney World in June 2014. One of the days we got a little dressed up, had our bride and groom Mickey ears on, and happily ever after pins on, and headed to Magic Kingdom. We rode Aladdin's flying carpets, and just after we hopped in the front of the carpet, the actual Aladdin and Jasmine grabbed the seats behind us. They chatted with us about married life during the whole ride. Then they took us over to their photo spot straight to the front of the line. It was a magical memory we will not forget. Now, here's what we can learn from that. We know there's so much planning that goes into a Disney World vacation, but seriously, leave yourself time for the unexpected to happen. While most of the time you're gonna interact with characters at their meet and greets, there are a few opportunities, mostly unexpected, to meet them around the parks. There are several characters that walk around the parks, Country Bears, Peter Pan and Magic Kingdom, and then there's moments like Character Palooza, which sometimes happens around 4 p.m. near the American Adventure Pavilion in Epcot. So instead of rushing to the next ride, take some time to talk with the citizens of Main Street in Magic Kingdom or citizens of Hollywood and Hollywood Studios. These are awesome under the radar experiences that might just become your favorite Disney memory. Okay, next bizarre honeymoon story. Disney knows how to handle emergencies. Mindy Risky says, my husband had to get a root canal on our honeymoon. The cast members at Animal Kingdom Lodge were amazing. They went above and beyond to help us get it taken care of. It made us Disney and especially Animal Kingdom Lodge people for life. And Kate Bossard said, we stayed at the Wilderness Lodge and somehow, when I tried to listen to a message on our room phone, I accidentally hit the emergency button. While we're getting ready for dinner, we get a visit from the manager and security asking if everything was okay because we called the emergency number. They actually stepped into the room to get eyes on me to make sure everything was okay. Embarrassing, but also good to know they value the safety of their guests. Okay, so what can we learn from these two? Nobody wants to deal with an emergency or a root canal on their Disney World trip, let alone their honeymoon. At least Disney is prepared to handle every emergency, even if it is a false alarm. If you do get sick on your vacation or need to find an emergency dentist, stop by first aid in the parks or speak with a cast member at your hotel's front desk. Disney has plans in place for just about everything, and they'll be able to get you where you need to go and get you the help you need. All right, next one we want to talk about is making room requests. So this is from at Kevin LAF on Twitter. The morning after our honeymoon night at the Wilderness Lodge, we were awakened by shouting about ketchup across the lobby, rising to our seventh floor room from the Whispering Canyon Cafe. Okay, now we've talked on the channel about making room requests before to be closer to the lobby or near the pool, but a honeymoon trip is one you might want to think about requesting a room with a little more peace and quiet, and directly above Whispering Canyon might not be that place. You can make room requests through My Disney Experience with online check-in, and you'll be able to make two requests from a drop-down list that way. But if you have some more specific requests, you'll want to call the hotel directly about a week out from your stay before rooms get assigned. A lot of the requests are for specific buildings or hallways, along with near lobby or near pool. So do a little research on your hotel to see which areas will best fit your needs. And honeymoons are definitely one of those times you might want to splurge on an upgraded room. Disney even has some suites designed for honeymooners. The Boardwalk Inn Garden Suites are two-story suites that have a living room and loft with a king bed and their own private garden. Plus, you're right on the boardwalk if you're looking for some nighttime fun like Jelly Rolls or the Atlantic City Dance Hall. And you're just steps to Epcot's International Gateway entrance and, of course, that Skyliner. You can also splurge on a stay at one of the monorail resorts. There are rooms at the Contemporary, Poly, and Grand Floridian that all offer views of the Magic Kingdom fireworks, so you don't even have to leave the room to watch. 
bonus, if you're at the Polynesian, you can order the Ohana Twilight Feast to your room. And we're not usually proponents of room service because it's not always great, but this is the one exception that is truly awesome and worth the money. All right, next tip is adding on extra celebrations. So Michael Clark tweeted at us, I tried to order flowers to be in our room when we arrived. The floral arrangement people couldn't customize the flowers for a goofy theme. I could buy a pre-made Mickey arrangement, but they couldn't get a stuffed goofy toy at Disney World. I was shocked at being told no at Walt Disney World. Okay. Disney in-room gifts and celebrations can be a great way to add a little something special to your hotel room. Everything's handled by Disney's florists, and while they have a ton of great pre-designed packages and floral displays, they may not be able to make everything happen. That's a good thing to note. If you have special requests, we highly recommend calling the service directly and ordering early. That way you can see if they're able to make something specifically for you, and the advance notice will probably help in making it a reality. If they can't do something like that, and you are on your honeymoon, you might call the hotel directly and see if there's something they can help you with. For example, if you want a goofy themed in-room celebration, maybe you can purchase the goofy stuff, send it to the hotel, and they can find someone who will be able to set that up for you. I don't know if that can happen or not, but you always want to think outside the box when you're trying to make that sort of thing happen. Next Disney tip we learned from our honeymooners, know where you're going. So Joy Spears tweeted at us, my husband and I were staying at Shades of Green for our honeymoon. We took the monorail from Magic Kingdom to the Polynesian late one night and got lost crossing the street and ended up at the transportation and ticket center and walked all along the main road until the cast member had to give us directions back to our hotel. Now, this could happen to anyone, not just if you're on your honeymoon. Disney World is huge and it's easy to get lost, especially if you're not familiar with the roadways. We can definitely recommend taking Disney World transportation in some circumstances, and you can always ask a cast member how to get from point A to point B. They usually have extra transportation cast members around at the end of the night to help you get home. If you're walking back to your resort, make sure it's one you can walk to. There are only a handful of hotels that are connected to parks via walking paths, and only a few hotels that are connected to one another. So for the most part, you'll need to take some kind of transportation to get between parks and hotels. Not all of Disney's roadways have sidewalks. Next tip from our honeymooners, plan a special meal. Michelle tweeted at us, not sure if it's bizarre, but we went to Victoria and Albert's for dinner in Queen Victoria's room. We were celebrating our honeymoon and the table beside us was celebrating their 25th wedding anniversary and the table beside them was celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. It was a full marriage circle. That's adorable, first of all, Michelle. And the tips we get from this, Victoria and Albert's is the top choice for a romantic special occasion dinner for a lot of people. It's a AAA five diamond restaurant, hard to get a reservation at, so you'll want to be ready to book 180 days out. The menu is about 10 to 12 courses, and the team will contact you about a week from your reservation to know any special diets or preferences. This one is definitely a splurge at around $185 per person with that add-on optional wine pairing, bumping the price to $250. If you're a fan of fine dining but want something a little more exotic, try Takumi Te and Epcot's Japan Pavilion. This brand new restaurant is another meal that's more of an experience and each dish is expertly prepared and plated. So whether you opt for the omakase menu, $130 per person, or order off the a la carte menu, both Takumi Te and Victoria and Albert's are going to be lengthy meals, so plan for a relaxing evening of fine dining. You really can't go wrong with any of Disney's signature restaurants for a romantic celebration dinner either, but California Grill, Chico, and La Cellier always stay near the top of our list of favorites. Next tip, some cast member magic. On Facebook, Ashley Taylor Halcombe said, my husband and I were walking around Hollywood Studios on our honeymoon in December 2017. And on Sunset Boulevard, I passingly said, wow, I love the red Christmas years. Later in the night, we went into Mickey's of Hollywood to browse the store. Then a cast member approached me holding the red Christmas ears and said, Mickey asked me to give these to you. And she handed me the ears for free. It was such a sweet blessing, but also a bizarre experience. And also on Facebook, Grace told us for our amazing honeymoon in June 2014, I'd gotten shirts made for each day, which was a new thing for us. The trip was extra special, not only because it was our honeymoon, but because it was our first time going to Disney, just the two of us, even though I 
I've been countless times, this was so different. Day one, we are walking down Main Street right when the park opened and someone comes up to us and asks about our shirts, which just said, just married. I thought we were in big trouble for having shirts made, don't ask why. So I sort of blow them off trying to leave before we get in trouble. Luckily, my husband continued talking to this wonderful cast member who eventually asked us to be grand marshals in the Festival of Fantasy Parade that day. I can't put into words how amazing and special this experience was. To think I was about to bolt. I've been so many times and nothing like that had ever happened. It was meant to be. Now, we're not going to say that wearing a happily ever after button or the bridal veil mini ears are going to get you extra pixie dust or freebies, but it can't hurt and it's definitely going to get you some congratulations and well wishes. Cast members are really out there to make your vacation as perfect and memorable as possible. If you have an amazing cast member interaction, remember that you can thank them by visiting guest relations and letting them know about your experience. Emailing guest services can also work or hopping on Twitter and sending a hashtag cast compliment to at WDW Today or at WDW Guest Service. And finally, some of our honeymooners had some amazing magic from fellow guests. On Facebook, Vicky said to us, we were on our Disney moon, sporting our pins and bride and groom ears. A couple stopped us in Epcot to congratulate us. After engaging in a short conversation, they asked us if we were staying for illuminations. We were. They gave us another pin and wrote a name on it and said to present it at the specific roped off area and give our names to the cast member. We thanked them as we went on our day. We were on the fence and just overall confused. The name on the pin was Andy Davis. My husband was like, hey, Andy Davis, that's the boy from Toy Story. We were walking around thinking it was a joke or something, so I said, let's see what happens. Can't hurt. So we went to the spot and gave the cast member our names and said, oh, yes, you're right here on the list. We were ushered in behind the rope. The couple was there with their sons. They wouldn't say why they were able to get us in or how they were affiliated with Disney. We still don't know. But we made friends with the couple, and it made for an extra magical memory on that wonderful vacation. And from Facebook, Caitlin Stokes said, My husband and I honeymooned in Disney World in 2008. We met in high school, but while we were there, we were eating at 50's Primetime Cafe. We were done eating, and they came out with this huge ice cream sundae. We got confused, but another couple had gotten it for us because it was our honeymoon. They said when they were on their honeymoon, it happened to them. So they wanted to pass it on. It was very kind, and I hope we can pass on that tradition. So what do we learn? It's almost more special when the magic is coming from other park guests, right? We've gotten several stories from you guys about other guests sending a little extra magic your way. Remember when you used to be able to hand off your paper fast pass to another family? These are without a doubt some of our followers' favorite memories from their trips, and they're created by you guys. So when you're annoyed at the family that just stepped in front of you on Main Street or the guy that took the last seat on the bus, remember that everyone else in Disney World is there enjoying their vacation too, and a little niceness or some extra pixie dust can change someone's whole experience. So like I said, we got so many great stories from you guys. They were absolutely wonderful to read and thank you for sharing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little something maybe about your honeymoon trip or for your regular trip. As always, we appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for listening and I hope your upcoming trips are truly, truly magical. This is AJ for Disney Food Vlog and we'll see you real soon.